as a motor vlogger there are a lot of equipment that we need to bring out all the time with us you know on the road whether it's cameras microphones and so forth to be able to give you that experience but sometimes with all that equipment we really need to cut it all down and keep it simple to be able to still do what we need to do so we sometimes have the gopros another gopro that we will strap onto the helmet all the straps and microphones as well but you know there has to be a simpler solution and one of it is of course the insta360 one r camera and right now we have a fix that we don't have to bring all those things this is the instamic pro now you can connect this via bluetooth to the insta 361 r and that's all you need to do to be able to do a moto vlog why don't we talk about this on the road and let's see how it all turns out now on the bike today we'll be talking about the insta 361r and of course the insta mic pro which i purchased off their website before i begin i'd like to thank what's up bob for introducing me to this because in the past the way i would connect to the insta 360 would be through my wireless ceremonic and you know you'll be sticking a lot of stuff microphones underneath the helmet i have to put on the little telecin mount to be able to put in that particular microphone and then hook it up to this camera then what happens is that you don't get that seamless invisible stick kind of thing where the algorithm from the insta360 actually removes anything that's that is mounted on so it looks as if I have a floating cameraman, uh, not floating cameraman, but a roving cameraman for myself. And what happens was that then you'll see a portion of that wireless transmitter or receiver next to the Insta360. I think if you've seen some of my videos, you see some little red thing in the corner, uh, in the corner of the, view, uh, of the view. And that actually is the wireless receiver. So stuff to be putting underneath the uh, helmet. And that was a real pain. So today's video is more of a proof of concept. I know it works. How do I know it works? The last video that I did on the Honda Rebel 1100 was done totally on the Insta360 1R and the Insta Mic. Albeit there, were, there was a lot of wind noise and everything else, uh, because I don't have the dead cat, the dead cat's on its way. Uh, probably get it after Chinese New Year. In fact, today's the eve of Chinese New Year, uh, and it's a big holiday here in Asia. So for the next couple of days, I don't think anything's going to be happening. So I'll probably receive it late next week at the time of this recording. So with a dead cat, obviously, it'll take away all the wind noise and, and stuff like that. And I think one of the things I forgot to do uh, on settings for this camera was uh, before I started this was to put on the wind noise reduction selection but you know okay Sarah Sarah probably have to put it through some plugins and all that but anyway the, the, the why do I like the 360 because the 360 means that I don't have a fixed view or two cameras in fact I'm, I'm now using only one camera Actually, what I have is the InstaMic Pro, which is mounted in this helmet inside. So I don't have lots of wires and stuff sticking inside. And that way, I, I'm freer to use this particular uh, camera to be able to do all my vlogs, right? I, I'm a really lazy bastard. And to me, to be putting on so much stuff kind of dampens the spirit of wanting to do a, a vlog so in in a way this setup with the insta 361 r and uh, the insta mic pro inside the helmet means that i only just have these two things i just stick it on uh, the little mount uh, in on the inside put in uh, whatever protection i can on it and in my case what i did was i macgyvered it right 
and I took one of those, you know, if you buy those, uh, com this communicator, the Senna and, and, and any other communicator, it also comes with sponges for the, for the uh, speakers inside. So the, the sponge was actually big enough to cover the whole of uh, the Instamic Pro. So I use that at the moment. Uh, it doesn't do, it cuts some of the wind noise, but doesn't cut all of it. So little MacGyver thing going on there. Um, it worked fairly well. As I said uh, in my last video the, on the Honda Rebel uh, 1100, I actually used it for that particular uh, vlog. And you can actually see the results there. What I'll do is uh, I'll put it in the cards above to let you have a look at it as well. So, But this is more of a proof of concept kind of thing because why I'm saying that is because I, I wanted to do a test in that particular video to see how well it works and how well it, it, it connects and it did very very well. I'm very happy that it turned out pretty well although I had to do a lot of work cleaning it up. So I've learned from that, adjusted the settings, uh, had a long chat with uh, What's Up Bob and he actually has or will be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to do exactly this for those people who do have the Instamic Pro or thinking of getting the Instamic Pro. And what I'll probably suggest is, I, I'm not going to go into it de in depth, let him do it. I'll put the link in the description below of his channel. And also, put it in the cards. Now, why do I want to have an Insta360? Well, let me show you. Let me do a swing around. I can get you the whole view, not just about of, of me, but of the road in front of the sides uh, and, and places that you can see so that you can have a good view. And that's the whole purpose of it. And plus the fact that I can do a vlog without having to do a recorder inside, without having to sync all the audio, and I only have a few pieces of equipment on me to do this. So I'm still going to swing around a little bit, let you have a look around. I'm quite happy that there isn't much traffic here, although I spoke too soon. Uh, today is an eve of a major public holiday. And as you can see, in the front, there is a lot of uh, people around. So this is the advantage of having the Insta 361R or any 360 camera for that matter. But the fact that you have to, you know, um, synchronize the audio if you're doing a separate recorder. I know my buddy Chopper Fett does that, even with his GoPro. Uh, <clears throat> heads off to him, you know. It's just way too much work because I spend way too much time in the edit process already to add that other step uh, as well. So to me, if I can have a solution where I can do a vlog with the audio being captured directly and hopefully good audio and to be able to do direct editing into my into my editor of choice which is Final Cut Pro uh, and not have to go through too much processing I think that would be really awesome right so this is a good showcase of um, in a sense or, or proof of concept that it works. The, now, a, a quick review on how to connect. The step-by-step -step guide will be done by uh, What's Up Bob, as I said earlier. Again, I'll leave his the description below on his channel. And what I'll do is talk you through a little bit. So the first thing you need to do is before you put on your Insta361R, put on your Insta mic by just pressing it once until you see all the three lights lit, light up. Go into your settings in your phone. Make sure that you put on hands-free. Take off auto gain, set, set it to minus nine is the usual one and I added another minus three, which is a total of minus 12 dB. Hopefully that will reduce a lot of the wind noise and gain and clipping because I had a lot of clipping in my last video. So once you've done all that, uh, and you've ensured that you're still connected to the Insta mic. Then you put on your Insta One R. Go to you flip down, and you know if you have the latest firmware on the Insta Three Sixty One R, 
you see uh, a little icon, like little headphones. Actually, it's meant for the AirPods because initially the firmware was supposed to be able to connect specifically to the AirPods. But uh, in my other video, uh, I showed that you could connect to another, any other wireless or most of the any other wireless uh, headphones that you have. So I connected to my Beats, Power Beats. Uh, but, you know, those kind of headphones, the microphones are really awful. They are not meant for that kind of thing. Same with the AirPods Pro. Uh, at the end of the day, quality of the microphone will not match something like this, the Instamic Pro. Right? These are specifically engineered as proper microphones. So it has the correct range and you'll be able to get the best quality. And yeah, I'm very impressed by it's standalone features and the fact that it can also be a standalone um, recorder as well is another awesome part of it as well so once you see that that airpod uh, icons you click on it or you touch it and then it should show instamic and after a while if you tap on it it should connect now, if you're having any issues uh, connecting to it, I, I probably suggest again go to what's uh, what's up Bob's channel and look out for his video on the step-by-step -step guide on how to connect the Insta One R, the Insta 361 R, to the Insta Mic Pro. Again, let me show you a little bit. the area. I'm going to swing right. Yeah, over there. So, it's a lot of, uh, it's an industrial area. And that's, that's the beauty of uh, the Insta 361 R or any 360 camera as well. So to me then uh, you don't, you're not going to get stuck with one particular view. Uh, I can show you anything of interest without having to switch the mic, uh, the camera around. And since we're coming up to something a little bit interesting, um, on the right hand side, I'm going to swing it around. This used to be an old Air Force base converted to uh, an airport, but for private planes and, and deliveries and uh, those FedEx and DHL uh, carriers been blocked now so I'll come back to me and this is one of the reasons why I think it's great to have this uh, because in, in the past what I did was I have two cameras one facing me one facing the road you know but for the most part I prefer this particular view because uh, it means that I'm talking to you guys right uh, I'm not just riding and having a look around and and, and not interacting with you guys uh, you see the road and maybe you might see my hand flicking around if it's facing the road uh, if it's mounted on my helmet but you know uh, somehow it's not as as interesting especially if I'm having a conversation like this and we're talking about uh, something interesting I'm going to show you one more site before I wrap up. I'm coming down close to where I live and basically where I am there's a huge reservoir and even a golf course uh, which I can see on this particular road and hopefully it's not blocked by traffic because traffic isn't that very bad. So here's the, here is a good advantage of the Insta 361R or any 360 camera. You know, you go left, you can see in the front there the golf course, and then of course the reservoir on the left. Then if I swing on the right, you get to see some more of the reservoir. And believe it or not, all that construction sites and all those uh, things that are on the right hand side is actually Malaysia. It's another country altogether. Interesting, right? Anyway, so today, this is a proof of concept for the connection of the Instamic Pro to the Insta 361R so that we can have, I can have 
or do a model vlog using a 360 camera and having my audio directly recorded and of course being a very good mic using a, a, a very good quality mic to record on this. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and it was of some information to you or good information to you. Uh, and if you haven't yet, please do click the like button. And of course, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know about my next video out. Once again, folks, thank you very much for watching. I'm Fletch and you have safe rides.